It's me again. Hi, this is Belinda Alcala, your conference spiritual growth coordinator, uh, videoing from the back garden of the parsonage here at St. Paul's United Methodist Church in Boulder, Colorado. And I wanted to show off my husband's, the shed we found when we first moved in a year ago. It was plain gray and my artist loves to paint. And so now, ta-da! It's this beautiful, beautiful, multicolored, primary colored shed, but it's a piece of art too. So we've uh, had a lot of fun and a lot of joy creating color and beauty in the back garden here at the Parsonage. I wanted to share with you something that the New York Times put out in May of this year. And it was it's a little section that they had all about joy. And I wanted to share this with you. It's 14 weird and delightful ways we're getting through these terrible times and finding some joy. And they say inside the front cover, these are not on the surface joyful times, not in the slightest, which is why we think you deserve some relief. We asked 14 writers what's bringing them joy right now. And in these pages, you'll find their answers. Well, I wanted to share some with you. They're funny. The joy of having plans cancel themselves. The joy of jogging very, very slowly. The joy of consuming an obscene number of calories before noon. <laughs> the joy of deleting my many mediocre photos. The joy of picking a fight. The joy of circling the block. The joy of getting lost and finding your way. The joy of caring for others. The joy of looking at strangers' lives. Hmm. Anyway, these are just a few of the, uh, the joys, weird and delightful ways we're getting through these terrible times and finding some joy. And I just wanted to share that with you.